And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Rider Aggro. This is our uh, next Allegiance deck. That's what we're kind of doing today. We're, we're taking uh, five decks built around the Allegiance cards. We're not playing a, a Vanguard Bannerman deck, so a Demacia Allegiance deck, because we do those all the time. Um, but these next three, the, these are going to be some, some, uh, some different ones that I'm going to be trying out. So we're going to be playing... Um, Noxus Allegiance for Basilisk Rider, um, so that's why I'm calling it Rider Aggro. So the bonus for having Allegiance with Noxus is you get a 4-mana 6-3 Overwhelm, so a 6-3 Trample Creature. Um, so that's our that's our bonus here. Um, we're doing a slight splash of two cards with PNZ. I wanted Boom Crew Rookie because of how good, how good this card is, and... Um, and then used cask salesman to be a good blocker uh, again, you know, to help us win races against other aggro decks and everything. And and uh, you know, used cask salesman is just pretty good. So those are the two cards we're splashing for PNZ. But then besides that, we're just going to be really aggressive with Noxus cards. You know, want that six three allegiance. Uh, you know, the six three overwhelm uh, to help us finish games out. Going to go with a couple of might and uh, transfusions for our tricks. And then, you know, just play like, play pretty uh, basic Noxus aggro deck. Our champions, we got Draven um, for our other three mana slot besides the Salesman, and then Vladimir at the top end to help us finish some games out. All right, so we got Rider aggro, uh, you know, just another version of Noxus PNZ aggro, but, uh, you know, we're, <clears throat> we're playing the different Allegiance cards today. So this is the Noxus version. What's that deck right there, Horse King? Uh, let's see, Karma Ez. Don't really need the Salesman against Karma Ez. And Precious Pet with the one toughness can be a little rough. Let's ship those two back. I don't, I don't mind the Precious Pet too much. It's just we can probably do better. Reporting in. I'll do better this time. No, donation decks, I'll have I'll have donation decks listed with two Ds next to them. Uh, no no donation decks today, but today just doing something doing something a little different. Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, doing something a little different. Built decks around the Allegiance cards. All right, well, I guess if they're going to have the Kempunk pickpocket, the card that I probably want to trade with it is going to be the Precious Pet. Out of these. Sorry, excuse me. Coming in hot! 
Oh, sorry, is it muted? Sorry, my bad. My bad with like the sneezing and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks thanks for letting me know. What's that you got there? Alright, the transfusion definitely a good draw. Definitely a really good draw. They're taking two damage from the Boom Crew rookie trigger. They'll take two damage from the Grenadier trigger. So they're essentially at four life right now. Don't be calling no enforcers. You cannot escape. Too late for you. That's it. So that puts them down to one. I think I'm just going to let them go to one. Oh no, because they could just have. They could just have deny. Let's do this. They could still. They could still survive this if they have static shock. Okay, they don't. Oh no, they wouldn't survive that. Never mind. Alright, so Rider Aggro does what it does. Didn't get to play the Riders, but. We'll get him eventually. No, I like having the in-game music played because uh, the, the people on, on YouTube really wanted that. It's, you know, keeps it from being real quiet. I I can also just mute the in-game music and then play my own music, but, um, but then for the people on YouTube, the video is really quiet for a lot of the time. I mean, this hand's fine. Yeah, I mean, this hand's fine. These are the cards in our deck. They're pretty good. Reporting in. They both attack for three on turn one, but the rear guard, getting the damage in with the rear card, like if we have to play one of them later, Saboteur is better to play later because it's more likely that the Saboteur gets the damage in later. I thought about getting rid of the Battlecaster, honestly. Battlecaster is like a, a really good, you know, like late game card for us, but it's not like a, a turn two play, as you can see. I did think about mulliganing the Battlecaster whenever we had that, but I didn't. And now I kind of regret that, that I didn't. Yeah, I think people really liked the the music on the stream, but I think it it does make the the quality for YouTube worse without it. Stay back. I'll take that trade. That's a pretty good trade for me. Senna. So I want to Whirling Death this thing. This turn. No, it's kind of risky. We ride for Noxus. Instead, we'll just ride for Noxus. Missed your chance to run. We ride for Noxus.
It's possible I should just be going straight to attacks. So it's kind of debating on. Another day, another monster to slay. Oh yeah, control control is very popular in Runeterra. Um, like Karma Ezreal is the most popular Runeterra deck. It's it's all control it's control deck. Alright, so this is them going down to six right now. Um You hoping they'll die of boredom? We're cooking. This is five. Make it three and try to keep this thing alive and level up. Like basically if this if this happens, if they don't have some kind of uh, spell to keep this from happening, this is gonna be pretty great. The Draven strikes there. Um Draven's gonna level up. Like, yes, they have a level up Lucian, and they have a lot of mana, but they're pretty dead. Draven's so animated. Yeah, the Shadow and Nivea list is on Mobile Addicts from just like a while ago. Like, we've played it a couple of times on stream. So it's probably like 10, 15 days down. I don't know. You kind of have to just look for it, I suppose. Um, yeah, you know, look for Freljord, Shadow Isles. Could be bad. Yeah, this could be bad. I don't have. Yeah, I, I guess I'm going to be losing this. Basically, all they need is another might. And I lose. They just might this Senna. Yeah. Let's end this. You monster. So what did I mess up? I don't know. Go back and replay that. I probably messed something up. I guess I didn't really consider, you know, multiple mites. I thought we were going to be fine, but I guess I should have. Yeah, the, the opponent was kind of BMing there, but oh well. It's, I'm sure they're excited about their win. GG's. their third Senna. It's unfortunate. Alright, anyway, let's get rid of Might. Oh, actually, we may need Might. We don't need it in our opener, though. But this is probably a, a go-wide spider deck, which 
can be tough. This is the kind of matchup that can be tough. It might, like, helps us get over that. That's true. I basically never see anybody use these two emotes. This one is basically all always bad manners. Uh, it's basically always BM. The yeah, the Brom. If it's beginning of the game, it's good. But yeah, later on, like at the end of the game, you're saying bye. That is... Basically, I'll only use this. I like reply if somebody else says hi. I say hi back, and then I'll maybe use these two. Uh, no, I don't... No, Tiana's War Mother isn't really a, a great uh, deck to climb with, no. Um, the the Kinko Elusives we just played, that's a very good climbing deck. Uh, I like uh, Burn Aggro also. Uh, this deck right here. Um, or besides that, um, you know, that's like kind of like the, the meta tier list from Mobile Addicts that you can kind of see if there's anything there that catches your eye. So basically this thing attacks for three, this attacks for two. I play, play the thing that attacks for three. but Noxian Might. That's a good YouTube title. So we'll title this deck, Nothing But Noxian Might. So even if they, so I'm doing it this way, playing this Battlecaster first, because then if they, if they want to Ruination, you know, we'll have the Basilisk Rider that should kill them. Like, I mean, we'll, we'll kill them because of this. admittedly makes my life worse. That makes my life worse. Yeah, there are there are season yeah, there are ladder rewards. We don't know exactly we haven't they haven't announced what those are yet. That's starting this month whenever the game gets released and the new set comes out and everything. Hmm. I mean, I can go for lethal if they don't have any life gain. 
by just attacking. They take two from Vladimir, two from Grenadier, and then we do the other two with the Salesman next turn. So they don't have any life gain. I can go for that. I think that's my plan. That, the box, was really good. That hurt. Really hope they don't have life gain. a close one both these last two games were really close you know we lost the really close and then won the really close one but yeah i'm sure you're gonna get like more you know more rewards and it looks like it's gonna be every two months like they'll kind of drop down rankings and and then you rank back up every two months and you get rewards based on whatever rank you get to you know if you're familiar with the arena thing it's like how they do the reward seasons every month they're doing it every two months. Get rid of the Battlecaster. Look for something else. Um. Won't get past me. It's not quite the equivalent of Mono Red, like, because we don't have we don't really have burn spells. It's pretty similar though. It's. You know, maybe more like a, a mono white aggro, but there are there are like some cards that do direct damage in our like there are some creatures that do direct damage in our deck. Winter take you. The uh, mono red is probably more of like the burn aggro where it's same same regions but just has a lot more burn spells that's probably like mono red this is, this is i guess more like a this is like a gruel deck i guess you could say that like where you're like a gruel aggro where you focus more on the creatures killing them Wow. Gotcha. All right, so they they definitely have Withering Whale. It's Draven time. They're willing to do that. They definitely have Withering Whale. So basically, do we want to? We can attack right away so that we get the two damage in with this. But I would rather have the Basilisk Rider in play. Rider's just gonna trade. But it's gonna do a lot of damage. But yeah, they're they're gonna cast Withering Whale, I would assume. You know, maybe not, but that's my assumption how they didn't just use the one damage to kill the Boom Crew rookie. Instead did it over here. Grasp. What? There won't be what? A warning shot. What are they doing? Time to 
Guess they really think like with their withering whale it doesn't matter to like they could have saved the same the exact same amount of damage and had my legion rear guard be off the battlefield. We ride for Noxus. They just don't want that. Oh, it's Avalanche. No one's the wiser. Nothing but Noxian might. No, our Noxian might. So deck filled with Avalanche and Withering Whale, it's kind of rough for us. We're trying to go wide with small creatures, and then Soul Gorger. We get paired against this. This deck. This is rough. This is rough. All right, well, time to attack. Tang. And GG's. Yeah, we found a, a real bad matchup. The deck that wants to beat aggro. The thing is, is like, people don't really play aggro these days. Control is definitely the most popular archetype. But, oh well. Vladimir's leveled up. Like maybe we draw Vladimir and Vladimir does something. Maybe. Stand together. Okay. Let's get out of here. Multiple avalanches and withering whales? Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, two and two. I feel like we've gotten a little unlucky. We faced a, you know, like that ridiculous deck that we just faced, and then um, it's definitely built against us. And then we had that other loss that, uh, you know, just dealt like all 20 damage in the one turn there with the three centers and illusion. And a, a couple, and then multiple mites. All right, Garen Fiora. We'll keep. Reporting in. Pretty decent hand. With the Boom Crew rookies and transfusions. We'll 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 try this. Yeah, I want to see more karmas in, in Ezreal's. More, more karma Ez. That felt like a really good matchup when we faced that, the one game. Got to run them over.
So assuming they have Fiora plus Barrier, which is a, a very fair assumption. So assuming they have that, or the equivalent, is it better to play Boom Crew Rookie or just attack? So attacking does six damage to them. We play Boom Crew Rookie. They play something else. No, because I, I can't have Transfusion. No, I don't have the mana for Transfusion or anything, so. No, we just attack. Don't have the mana for like to play rookie and have a trick available. We don't have six mana like they do. I long for a worthy opponent. I can do this. It's unfortunate. It's Draven time. Strike quickly, strike deftly. All down. Show them our metal. This is going to hurt for you. Basically, Radiant Strike would be the only card that hurts me here. Fiora tough. Go for lethal. We can't judgment. I guess now they can, by blocking the middle thing, they can life steal that. I was kind of thinking they were gonna block the Draven, which is why I put the Draven last. Well, I hope they don't have life steal. Awesome. All right, finish three and two. Ah, uh, came close. Need two more spells. We'll get that with the Shadow Isles deck later. But yeah, you know, like I, I honestly like Noxus. I think the Noxus decks are pretty fun to play. Um, I like them. I like I like these Noxus decks. But yeah, this is just a you know pretty generic go wide. Uh, the Rider was pretty good. You know, like it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't absolutely amazing, but it was pretty good. I, th this basically, re you know, this basically replaced Crowd Favorite in this kind of deck, um, where Crowd Favorite at times can be like, at at the very best, it could be a seven six overwhelm for four mana. If you have a, another full battlefield but at the worst crowd favorite could be a 2-1 if you don't have anything else um i'd say it probably averages out you know like if you have two things your crowd favorites like a 4-3 see you know if you have three other things it's a 
it's a 5-4. Well, this was a, this is a 6-3 basically all the time, except for a, a small a small chance of being just a 5-2 a without Overwhelm. But basically always being 6 power Overwhelms. Pretty nice. We played this quite a bit with like just one, you know, like with a Draven in play. You know, like with one creature in play and then playing a 6-3 Overwhelm. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's basically the unconditional crowd favorite there. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So there's our there's our Noxus Allegiance deck. We're about to play uh, Piltover and Zahn Allegiance, and then Freljord, and then Shadow Isles after that. But those y'all watch on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there, and you know feel free to let me know what you think of this deck and like these Allegiance decks and everything like that. Let me know if you like this little series today. Um, but that's it here for Rider Aggro. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.